Hello everyone, my name is John Melisonja and today I'm gonna teach you how to paint this wonderful landscape painting. So today I'm going to paint another um, winter. So I'll just make it easy everyone. I uh, will become uh, a little misty and I'm gonna put trees and I'm gonna put a big pathway. And please don't forget to subscribe, you have to subscribe yet and hit the bell button if you want to receive some future notification, my new videos and tutorials. Okay, you can see all the materials near the screen. You can see the five limit colors, the brushes that we're going to need and all the things that we need to paint this painting. Okay, so I'm going to start now and I'm going to uh, do a little sketching first. Where, where I'm going to put the, the horizon or uh, the pathway. Okay, so I have here. So I will, I will use now some blue and the red to make some purple. Because this will be a lot of purple here everyone. So here. I'm gonna mix. So I'm planning to put my horizon on this part. Yeah. There. And in here will be my uh, pathway. There. And in here also. It's a big pathway burn. I'm going to put a big tree here. Yeah, something like that. It will be a huge tree in the front. Okay. So this is my plan. And it will be just a simple, easy tutorial, everyone. So it will just be mostly gray colors or something like that. I'm trying to, I'm planning to put one man here walking, but I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, let us see what uh, will come out what will come out on this uh, tutorial so if you are painting with me just follow and always have fun okay so yeah I am I will be uh, I will start now and I'll start the, the under painting so I will put the under painting first I will be using a bigger brush I have a new brush and you can also use this one I think it is uh, it is a 1.5 inches so actually no, uh, it's enough for this part, but for me it's a little bigger. And you can use a small little smaller than this. Or you can use continue using the brush that uh, I'm using before. Okay. So yeah. Here I have this uh, purple, red and the blue. And then I have here white. I'm going to put it here. the horizon yes there okay so I really like to start with the other painting everyone because I don't want to see those whites there I want to make the painting as clean as possible I want it to be smooth like that okay. uh, we just have to remember where I'm gonna put the uh, the sketch okay so on the top I will try to put some orange so that it will look like an afternoon I'm gonna put some more white here there Hopefully it's hard to distinguish the orange now. <laughs> but I'm gonna put more yellow. There. At least we can see a little different sky here. I also put some white because I, I want this background to be misty. I don't want to see any blue here. I just want to make it misty, everyone. Can also put some purple. Or a little reddish sky or purple sky.
So as you can see here, everyone, it's very misty. The color is misty and uh, light. So this is what I want in, in my painting. I want it to be very, very bright. That's why this brush is very good, everyone, for blendings. And I like the blending also. It's very, very smooth. It's always very. <laughs> it's always good. Okay. That's it. You can clean your brush. And I will try to put... Uh, maybe I will start now using uh, this brush. Uh, the number 8 nylon flat brush is uh, it's a medium size flat brush. And I will try not to, uh, to start adding things here like those uh, misty misty colors or misty trees here so yeah so it looks like uh, there's a sound there so I have here a grayish color or purple light purple everyone so just just uh, blue and red but try to see it if it's look uh, gray there just add more white so I want it to be misty. There. So you can use these uh, brushes. You can use this uh, medium sized flat brush. So it's very uh, misty now, everyone, as you can see. I like to put also one tree here, pine tree. Some pine trees also have no leaves, something like that. And also here, even if, if we cover some parts here later on, but uh, we need also to put. there okay and then another one here yeah uh, I, will, I will I will cover it later everyone but it's okay if you just have to put it here sorry everyone Try also here. Okay, at least uh, you can now see those uh, beautiful pine trees. And now I'm going to use uh, darker. A little more red there. This time I'll try to put some nearer tree. 
And as you can see, it's now uh, darker. So here, everyone, uh, use the tip when you put the the details like that, the leaves. Okay, there you go. Then another one here, I'll try. This time it will be uh, bigger. Make it thicker also, like uh, there's a lot on the back part. Okay, so as you can see everyone, it's so misty now and I really like those colors, it's so good and yeah, it's misty. And also here, uh, yeah, I will also put it here, but this time I'll just do like that because I will also cover this one later on, so I'll just cover this with the uh, color. try to mix again uh, I want more color like that so the same color but it's a purple uh, it's a little darker I can put more white there and then I'll try to put a little light here so that I can blend on the bottom part there you can also add a little more white I want to blend it here, everyone. There. Uh, 
lighter ya so just blend a little on the bottom part mm -hmm. uh, make it lighter blend it uh, blend this uh, there so you have now uh, the background pine trees and the color is misty so almost like uh, very clean okay there and I will uh, use now some a brownish I will use now the brown here so I'm gonna put it here oh wait I'm going to put first some blue umber, uh, purple everyone blue on the red These are some, okay, these are say some grasses, bushes, but I can still see the bottom part or so else. That is not completely submerged by the, or completely covered by the snow. Like that. So just make it look like an abstract. And also here. It should be like that everyone, I'm sorry. Uh, make it a little lighter on the upper part here. Just mix it with the with the existing colors. And also here, uh, make it uh, lighter. And then I will try to put some raw umber. And also here. There. Okay. like that and I will try to put the light coming from the right side everyone so my light source will be from the right side so I will mix again the blue and the red and then white make it a little lighter and then here I will try to put some some lines something like that yeah this will be a lines everyone But it will not be so visible because it will be covered by the snow so I'll just put some details here little details I'm gonna put more blue and then white Yeah. 
This time I'm going to put uh, some snow here. There. Okay. Just use the topping, everyone. Cover it entirely to the uh, to this uh, some parts Okay, so at least you can see some darks there, but there's still maybe some plants there completely uncovered. And also here, everyone, same thing. covering some parts and also I'm gonna put some uh, here some darks or shades a little shades because these are parts that uh, are hollow parts or something or holes it's very very important also Okay, so here also, I'll just try to retouch. Yeah, to, to make it look like uh, covered by the snow. Oh, 
So, I'm going to play a little more to add some darks there. Okay. There. Yeah, I hope you, you understand. Yeah, it looks good. It's just very simple, everyone, and it looks good. It looks good uh, uh, in a little far. Yeah. And I like those, uh, I like also the, the misty background, it looks good. And it looks very, very, very simple. Okay, so yeah. And I will try now, yeah, maybe I will try to put now some lights. Uh, just a little amount of lights, everyone. I don't want to put so much light there. So I will put, the, the light source will be on the right side. It will be on the right side, everyone, right front or something like that. Mostly on the right side. And I'm going to make it a little more yellowish on the lights, especially the lights. Okay, so I think this painting will be just be easy and fast. Uh, it's uh, 30 minutes now since I started. Make sure that you clean your brush. Clean your brush. Okay, I'm going to put now white. So I have here the white and a little amount of yellow. Not just yellow brown but the red also to make orange. I want more white there. I want it to be really bright, everyone. And you can put it here. There. Okay, this you can see now some light there on this head. And with a little light also here. Okay, slowly everyone, we can see the difference. Mm -hmm. Can also try the tapping technique. Not everything is with the light, everyone. Okay.
care so not everything I'm gonna put lights yeah so you can now slowly see uh, this beautiful lights there and it looks good it looks pretty simple and it looks good okay it's so misty okay so I'm gonna put the tree here yeah on this side so that's why I didn't make this good around because I'll just cover that okay I will be using a smaller brush it's here the number two nano flat brush and I have here the raw umber the blue and the red so I'm gonna make it darker so I'm gonna put it here Let's make it a little bigger. Okay, and now I'll be using a smaller brush. So I have here the number one or zero liner brush. This one is good for a finer details. So I have no black everyone so I'm using uh, red, blue and the uh, raw umber to make some purple, uh, to make some darks. So I can put more branches and always remember that branches are always smaller than the, tr than the trunk. Okay, you can put as many uh, branches as we could, as we can.
So I'm gonna make it a lot. So, as you can see, everyone, it's a lot of uh, branches on it. The tree looks good, but we need to put more because I think it's not enough. Okay. Also, here, I'll try to put one big tree here. It should be a lot of uh, branches. Okay, now uh, I'll be using the bristle flat brush. Okay, so I don't know where's my bristle. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, I have the other one. Yeah, here. So, first I'm going to use this uh, brown or raw umber. Uh, make sure that it's dry everyone when I use the dry brush and slowly we can do like that just blend it good like that to make it look like that uh, it's a lot of uh, there's a lot of branches here just spread it a little like that it look like a gray It is just a dry brush everyone. Okay, there. So it looks like now that uh, it's a lot of uh, branches. Now I'm gonna try to do this little trick. First I will gonna clean my brush. And then I'm gonna mix for okay purple, light purple, so blue on the red, the same brush everyone, and a little white. It's a light purple. There, you can just do drag it a little like that look 
like a small trees a uh, small leaves there and now I'm going to put more white for a little highlights you can do the topping there okay so it looks like now uh, there's snows there on the, on the top yeah it's, it looks smooth uh, it doesn't look like that uh, it's, yeah it looks like also a leaves but only a few leaves and like but it is covered by snow it looks like that it's been covered by the snow and now I'm going to put the highlights but first I'm gonna put also some some snow on the branches So this color again. Uh, I should put that as uh, put some also covering. There. Cause uh, I should have also some snow there So you can see now everyone but that uh, on the top of the branches there are snows also and it looks good okay now I will try to put also the lights so yeah I will just put I will just use the white here and also here
so you can see now a little highlights on the right side okay and now uh, I'm gonna use this raw umber and white so this time the highlights also of the tree can put there okay yeah the tree looks good everyone looks very realistic okay i'm gonna put again another tree on the uh, next to this one uh, it will be a little uh, slide or something like that it's a uh, old tree something like that yeah okay so using again the flat brush this one and using the raw umber with a little dark color, the same color. Try to put uh, one tree here. Oh, this is a little protruding, something like that. Here's a little protruding tree, everyone. Uh, I mean, uh, he fell, something like that. It fell, sorry. So we need to sort of put some branches, out of branches here. There. Okay.
Okay, so yeah, it's a falling tree. And now let's put some snow. So the same color, everyone. It's a light blue umber, bluish blue umber. I'm gonna put it here in the top. It's kind of wet, so you can let it dry also if you want. Okay, and I will put also uh, highlights now. There. Okay. Okay, good. Yeah, so you have now uh, the tree there leaning on the right side, and it looks good. Yeah, it's so simple and looks good. Another last part, everyone. I'm gonna put uh, a little, not so much big, but uh, yeah, it's a little bigger tree on the right side. Oh yeah, on the right side, everyone. So yeah, that will be my uh, last part uh, to put it there. And I will be finished. Yeah, everything's good and very, very simple snow landscape. And it's even look uh, much realistic than my uh, snow paintings before. Yeah. Yeah, just one more trick here, Vern, and I will be finished. Again, I will be using the small. Uh, Whistle flat brush, uh, no, I mean uh, small uh, flat brush. I'm mixing again the dark here, dark purple, blue, red, and a uh, little blue umber. Yeah, I will put it here. Yeah, it's kind of tall and big.
there. There's a mosquito everyone, sorry. the tiny details on the the trunk yeah I want it a little bigger And also here, everyone, I'll try to put one small. And then I'll try to put some branches here. I'll try to put some another uh, some branches also a lot of branches here everyone uh, yeah something like that I don't know if you can see everything okay yeah I will do this last Okay, so I will use now a smaller brush, the uh, liner brush. Again, the same color, dark. Okay. Yeah, so it's very very simple.
Okay. There. Yeah. And then here over the bottom of one, I'm going to try to put more. Okay, so I will try now to put uh, some highlights here. I'm thinking about if I'm going to put some little leaves uh, for this tree. It looks uh, it looks uh, sad. <laughs> yeah, it looks sad. Huh? And only few leaves there. So maybe I'll just try to put a few leaves on the upper part like that. Okay. So I'm, uh, yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, maybe I'll just put first some um, yeah, little leaves. So I'll be using this uh, bristle flat brush, and now I will mix for a little greenish with some raw umber, more yellow, and then raw umber. It should be dark green, everyone. Okay, so later we're gonna put some snow there. Just use the tapping technique again. There, that is just very simple and easy. a little leaves everyone I don't want to cover everything there because um, I still have uh, I want it to just clean to look clean and I will put more branches maybe here mosquitoes
Okay. Now I will try to put uh, some lights. So I'll do this one first. A little, yeah, maybe just this really is purple. Yeah. And this uh, lights here. Just put more red, everyone. Red. And white. So, a little lights here on the uh, left side. Try some orange with some raw umber. Okay. I will put the lights here. Okay, at least you can see lights. There. And now I will start putting some snow. So I'm gonna put it here bottom side. I'm not sure if you can see. Yeah, I think you can still see. So blue is purple here. A little more white. white and a little bluish yeah so these are the snows can also see it in the tree also here and also here on the on the branches And then on the top, everyone, I will try to put snow, but I'll be using uh, the flat brush, this one. Uh, 
the same color here a little more bluish it should be a lot of paints everyone because uh, we're gonna do it uh, wet on wet there tapping technique The snow will be on the top of the leaves. Let's do it slowly everyone. Okay, and then I will put now the white. So um, I will be just be using white, everyone, plain white. There. You can put a thick white there on the top. So this one. Okay, so I will show you the entire view. Let us see. Okay. So yeah, we have here. Uh, yeah, let us know. I am uh, planning to put a walking man there. Uh, yeah, maybe I will put. I still have time. But uh, yeah, I will just. Yeah, it will be. It will add uh, much beauty on this painting. So yeah, I think I will put. It's one hour twenty minutes. So yeah, still have time. I have here more white. I will put it here because I think it's dark here. Okay, so everyone, I'm going to put some, put the walking man there. Yeah, it will be here. So first, I'm gonna use this umber with a little white.
it should not be so big one it should be the proportion yeah maybe i'll try to i think it's just too big maybe the heat will be here yeah this is very very important when you paint uh, like this it should be on a good proportion okay so we'll use this umber darker here so of course you will be wearing a, a coat so here uh, he's wearing a red coat and in dark pants so I'll just use the umber or maybe this dark color here being a backpack okay yeah I think that's proportion is good everyone I think it's uh, good for the size of the tree this is very important that the uh, proportion will be per, uh, good. And a little light green, light reddish or light uh, pink here. I'll try to put some highlights. Yeah, something like that. Not so much highlights. Okay, and then I'll cover some parts. I will erase some mistakes here. Hopefully, it's just easy to erase those mistakes, everyone. Just have to, just have to uh, make uh, get the same color, and then just cover it there. Okay, yeah, I think I am done everyone, and um, yeah, I think the the man is very small, and it's far, something like that, it's a little far. Okay, I think I need to uh, make the man a little lighter, because I want it to be misty also. <laughs> It's not misty for me, so here I have a little uh, purple. It's purple, everyone. So I'll just uh, cover it here. There. And then also the blue. I'm gonna use a little white on this blue here. Yeah, maybe that's it. 
Uh, doesn't look so dark now. Okay. Yeah, I think I am done, everyone. Uh, just a little more retouch. Right. So light. Right. So. So here I'm gonna put some. Also here. I'm gonna put to cover some parts. There. Okay, yeah. I think I'm done and I hope you get something out of this. You can learn from this painting. It, it's just very simple and easy painting, everyone. But I know that you can also do this, and uh, it will be good for you. And you can learn a lot from this tutorial. Okay, so. Okay, everyone. So I want to say thank you for watching this video today, and I hope you get something out of this. And my only advice is to keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you know how to use your brush, the more you will know how to mix the colors. That's why I'm using limited colors in palette because I want you to learn how to, how to mix and get the desired colors you want. So please hit like, add some comments, subscribe for more videos in the future. Okay, once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God be sure. All the glory and honor and praise always belongs to the Lord.